Hi, Gamas Scout is an iconic Geig counter, but is it any good? Let's find out. Before I start, I must say that the unit that I got is not stock. It has a new battery and the GM tube was swapped for Philips ZP1400 since the original LND 712 was broken. Lastly, I have also added a metal mesh in front of the GM tube for additional protection when measuring alpha radiation. The version I got is the standard model, which retails for around 380 euros. Gamma Scout offers three other models. Alert model, which has an audible clicking sound and a settable alarm. A rechargeable model, which has a rechargeable battery. And an online model, which allows user to connect the Giga counter to the PC wirelessly. One small design issue that I noticed with the Gamma Scout is that the GM tube is slightly pushed back into the meter. This means that detecting alpha particles will be more difficult since they have a very small range. What I really like about this meter is that it can detect alpha, beta and gamma radiation and it shows readings in those units as well as raw activity. Unlike most electronic devices, Gamma Scout has no on-off button. It remains turned on until the battery dies. Luckily, this unit is designed to run for over 10 years without the battery running out, and if it does, Gamma Scout recommends sending the unit back to them for battery replacement and calibration, but in my experience, it is fairly easy to replace the battery yourself if you know how to solder. Unfortunately, this meter also has some downsides. There are some serious quality control problems, including the radioactive logo being distorted and the upper and lower body parts not fitting perfectly, even with screws tightened. These are small issues, but they should not exist on a Giga counter that costs almost 400 euros. But what bothers me the most is that the standard model does not come with a speaker. In my opinion, a clicking sound should be a standard feature on every modern Giga counter. Even my cheap 40 euro do-it-yourself Giga counter has a tiny speaker built into it. If you want audible clicking sound, then you need to buy a more expensive alert model. Overall, I think that the Gamma Scout is an okay Geig counter, but it feels outdated and I find it to be overpriced. That is why I would not recommend the Gamma Scout standard model, and I would suggest looking at other meters from the competition. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. And remember, stay active.